Hi everybody, it's 314 Reactor here. Uh, I know a lot of you guys subscribe because of the Edith glasses that I made last year. Uh, I'm really happy about that. I'm so glad you guys subscribed. It's really good to see my subscriber count go up. I know a lot of you have been asking about the Edith glasses Mark II and an update on where I am on it. Uh, this is the current state of them. Nowhere near finished yet. Uh, the main changes that I've done is tidy up the board a bit around there, made the battery a bit smaller, which will be tucked in the hidden when it's finished. And the main part is the screen, which is now a proper transparent OLED screen, which sits on the front here. Fortunately, one of the main reservations that I have about this is that it's too bulky because obviously I've had to make quite a big gap between that and the lens in order for it to focus properly, otherwise it's just blurry. I'd love to have the screen directly against the lenses there, but it wouldn't work, it would just be too blurry, so I need to have this you know, good almost couple of inch gap between there. And I just think it doesn't look quite as good as it could. So I've just been holding back for a while. I've also just been waiting for other technologies that I've been looking into, such as TensorFlow, which I want to implement on it, and also catching up on some other projects. People were very responsive to the original Edith glasses. That video is almost at 100,000 views. All the comments I've had have been really helpful. And it's just been really cool seeing the community react in this way. I just want to get your opinion, guys. I mean, what do you think? Does this, does this look good? Does it look bad? How could I improve it? Do you have any ideas of how I could remove that part and get the screen directly closer to it? Am I doing something wrong with the lens? Could I be doing something better with that? Should I 3D print something for the casing here? Because I think that looks okay at the moment, but it could possibly look better. What other technologies, what other features could I put on this? The main benefits currently are that it looks very clear when I've got the glasses on, so I can see the text and I can see everything that's on that screen directly in front of me. Don't have to change the focus of my eyes or look in the corner like I did with the previous version. So it's a lot better in terms of the display. It's just the actual aesthetics of it. So uh, let me show you guys what the reticle looks like and what text looks like through it. I'll do the best I can through the camera. So yeah, as you can see, the text is quite nicely displayed there. You can see the lens focuses it nicely. So as you look through, you'll be able to see those words coming through overlaid over what you're seeing in the background so it will be more true to life to the Edith glasses than the Mark 1s. Unfortunately it requires that bulkiness on top and I'm, I think that might be ruining the look a bit. And of course here it is with the aiming reticle so you'll be able to look through and aim at things. So it'd be really cool to display information on, you can have tweets and stuff scrolling by and other information. I could hook it up to a Nerf blaster and have it read the ammo count on it. I could put some other sensors on it. I could hook it up to Google, have it interact with the Google Assistant, especially when I get TensorFlow working on it, because PyTorch was a bit difficult to get working with the Raspberry Pi Zero, so TensorFlow works a lot better, it seems, so I should be able to hopefully have it recognize images and stuff like that, and again, get some more just general machine learning gear working on it, which would be cool. So I'm very excited about it, but like I say, it's just the bulkiness of it, and I'm not sure if people will appreciate that, because I, I don't know. Does it affect the uh, look of it? Let me know in the comments. Now, while you're waiting, uh, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, uh, drop a like, a comment, uh, check out some of my other videos. I do videos on uh, games and other projects that I have. You can check out my Hackster and Electromaker and my website down below, also my Twitter, where I'm posting updates on new projects. I've got a new project coming up where I'm trying to essentially read brainwaves and have it train a TensorFlow model on whether these brainwaves are relaxed or non-relaxed brainwaves. That's coming out very soon. I'm doing the write-up for that now. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I did my RGB lightsaber the other week. So there's always stuff going on to keep you busy while you're waiting for Edith Glasses Mark II. But rest assured, they are being worked on. It's just a case of, I really want to make a very good improvement on the previous ones. If I could just figure out a way to get that screen to be completely flat against that, that would improve the aesthetics a lot and I'd be a lot happier. Drop me a like, comment, good or bad. As long as it's constructive, I'll be able to use it to improve the glasses or any other projects that I do. And thank you all for subscribing. Uh, I got hundreds of subscribers uh, because of the Edith glasses. Uh, I really appreciate every single subscription and comment and like you guys make. It's really, really cool to have that engagement. So I just want to let you guys know the people waiting for the Edith glasses. I haven't forgot about them. I haven't forgot about you. I'm still definitely working on them and I will hopefully this year get uh, another version of them out and then Probably in the future, uh, Mark III as well. Hopefully a company manages to release uh, an OLED screen that somehow focuses without having to have a lens. That would be perfect because I can just slap it right on there. Boom, get a nice Raspberry Pi on the side and then that would be perfect to eat glasses. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.